Oh, oh hey. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name's Justin and I'm running for the king. I am a part-time reseller and I work out of this crazy shed in my backyard, selling things on eBay and Macari and Poshmark, or at least attempting to. And this video is just gonna share with you what happened this week here in the shed. Uh, just sharing my reselling uh, journey, not bragging, just uh, letting you know what's going on here. So uh, A, I have someone to talk to, that's you, about uh, what, I, <laughs> what I do in here. And two, uh, so maybe you can learn from me and learn from my mistakes uh, and things that I shouldn't really pick up. But anyway, this video is gonna share what I sold this week from the 6th, Tuesday, June 6th, through today when I'm filming this, Monday, June 12th. We're gonna jump back to Tuesday, we'll go through the week. You can kind of uh, see what's going on have a good laugh at me, that's fine. Either way, as long as you're enjoying yourselves, that's what I'm here for. Uh, so let's jump back to Tuesday and start from there. Hey everyone, today is Tuesday? Yes, Tuesday. Today is Tuesday and it is the 6th of June and uh, it's the start of a new week or new eBay week. I am still listing things from the sales on Saturday and I, I can't get away from the Happy Meal toys that I bought. I think I've listed 13 lots, 14 lots, 14 lots of Happy Meal toys. I have one getting ready to be photographed and one, two, three, four, five more, five more to list. And then I have the box of Pokemon card Happy Meal things too to list. So I don't know how I'm going to do that one. Probably one big lot. So maybe seven more, seven more to list. I don't know. There's a, there's a bunch, bunch of Happy Meals toys and well, they're not a big dollar and I'm just trying to get through them so I can be done with them. Because I know uh, since they're low dollar and they take a while to photograph, not really, but take a while to list because I look them up and, and whatnot, that uh, if I don't do them now, I won't ever get to them. They'll go in the death pile and be buried and, and who knows what. I'll find them in 10 years or something. So we're not talking about listing. Let's talk about my solds. I have four items going out. The first item I sold is on Macari and it is a pair of socks. And uh, this is a pair of socks I picked up at Goodwill and they ended up in a death pile for a while. Then I got them listed uh, and they've been uh, listed for like a long time too. So not necessarily a death pile sale. I think they're in this bucket here, but if they're not, I'm going to have to dig for them. I'll be right back. Okay. They weren't in that bucket, but they were with my clothes in my clothes bucket. So that works out. They're these Beavis and Butthead socks. I picked these up at Goodwill. I I think I paid a dollar fifty for them. They'd probably be like four dollars or five dollars at Goodwill now because prices have been crazy at my Goodwill. Uh, I don't live in a very affluent area, but uh, they seem to think that used Nike shirts that have been chewed on by a dog and have one sleeve missing are still worth nine dollars. It's madness. Anyway, these socks. I think I had them listed for ten. I took an offer last night of seven dollars plus shipping. They're on Macari, so payment went through right away, and they're going to go out today. I tend to avoid tools at sales, but sometimes I just stumble on them and I'll pick them up. This one is a socket and it was a Snap-on brand socket and I think I paid a dollar for it. I don't remember. It's been a while. This one is a Made in the USA Snap-on socket. It's a 25, 30 seconds and uh, just a normal little socket. It does have a little bit of rust. I did clean it up with Barkeeper's Friend and so it made it a little bit uh, nicer looking. It was in the death pile for a while because it accidentally got buried under some uh, my table over there. But I did dig it out. It's been listed for several months. This sold for $4.99 plus shipping. And then the next two items I bought Saturday, mostly. The first one is uh, a TV converter. And it's right here. So about a billion of these were made and most people got them free because you had a $40 coupon from the government and uh, a lot of them are still sealed. So I find one that's still sealed, I will buy it. This one I paid $5 for and it sold for $35 free shipping. So it is going to cost me about 10 bucks to ship. I bought this Saturday, listed it Saturday and it sold yesterday. And so it's a pretty quick turnaround. And as I said earlier, I've been listing Happy Mill toys like crazy. I sold a set. And uh, let me see if I can find them here. They are right there, HMT5. So I'm not gonna take them out of the box. They're pre-packed, pre-bubbled, ready to go. But this is a set of the Cactus Plant Flea Market toys. They're opened. And of course I'll stick the picture up here. I bought that huge box of Happy Meal toys for $15 and there were 
five cactus plant figures in there. There was three buddies, one birdie, and one hamburglar. So uh, I had a grimace. That's the only one I had. So what I did was I took my grimace. I made the complete set and listed that. I sold I listed the buddies separate too. But this set of four used open Happy Meal toys from last year, who knew that they would still even be selling at all, sold for $20 plus shipping. I'm popping back in here. My workday is over and I had two items that I had accepted offers on and payment has just went through. I want to go ahead and get them out today since I'm getting ready to head to the post office. It may mean I have nothing to pull tomorrow, but uh, we're going to get them pulled. The first is a hat and it's one I picked up at a yard sale. I think I paid a dollar for it and it's right back here. It is this Menards hat and it's even got like a little thing on the side to hold your pencil. And I, like I said, I picked this up at a yard sale for a dollar. It's still got the cardboard insert. I had two of them and my note says to check the camo pattern. So uh, that matches. And uh, so this is good to go. This sold for $7 plus shipping. And then the last item for real today is going to be an item I picked up at an estate sale on Saturday when we were yard selling down in Kentucky for the 400 mile yard sale. And I got a bag of stuff. Uh, I think I paid $10 and uh, this is the first thing, second thing. Anyway, this pays for the lot. I think I'm getting old and starting to lose it. It's actually going to be right here in my craft box. It is a set of four window clings and they're pretty, uh, pretty big. Uh, I think they range from seven to, to nine inches. Uh, they're Snoopy peanuts. And these, like I said, I picked up a whole bag of stuff for 10. This sold for $16.56 plus shipping. That really is going to be it for the day. With those two items, I have six going out and I'll see you tomorrow on Wednesday. Well, everyone, we've made it to Wednesday. It is the 7th of June and I have four items going out. Not a huge number, but... Uh, one's going to be a big pain to ship because it's large. It's going to be easy to ship if I can find the right box. I'm not sure. I may have to make one. Uh, I'm doing pretty good on my listings. I got 23 listed so far for this week since, uh, since Tuesday and so, or Monday, since Monday. And, uh, so that's, that's going well, but let's pull these items. The first one is very small. It's down here. So it is a hat pin, lapel pin type deal. I have them in here. I have all these fraternal pins I still haven't listed, but these I did. And it is this pin right here, if you can kind of see it, it's a little indie car. It's not very big. Uh, and uh, picked this up in a whole lot of hat pins. I paid $5 for it. Most of these pins over here are from that lot. And uh, this one sold on offer for $7.50 plus shipping. I did sell a plush bear as well, and I'm not really sure which plush uh, bucket it's in. I'm going to dig through them, find it, and I'll show you what it was. There she is. It's this little uh, cheerleader bear from the University of Louisville uh, Cardinals here. It still has the tags. I picked this up when I was thrifting with Side Hustle Preacher, and it's been listed for a couple months now, I believe. This one sold for $8 plus shipping. One of the 23 items I listed this week so far has sold. It's always great uh, when it's something that sells quick. This one sold for pretty decent profit as far as uh, what I sell. Right, it's right here. You can see it's still in the Ziploc baggie. I bought it and it says $5. It is a lot of six of these Epson ink bottles. There's three of these big black ones and then one, uh, well, one, the pink, the red or whatever, the blue and the yellow. And pick these up for five. And these sold for $35 plus shipping. And the buyer paid quite a bit for shipping. This is going to California. And so we have one last item for the day. Do you hear the, the rain on the roof? It's pretty loud in here. Uh, it's an item I've had for two years, I believe. At least two years. I picked it up at a neighborhood sale. We just went to this neighborhood sale two Saturdays ago. And it was not the year, not last year's, but the year before's. So I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's when I picked it up. It's that box right there. So it's a big box here. It is this Hydro Shield Water Dodger. Uh, it's got a Toys R Us lo logo on it. And it, they're like foam shields. And then those uh, balls that you get wet and they're squishy and everything. And it looks kind of cool. Um, it's big. So I'm going to have to find a box for it. This was an item that I planned on selling at my yard sale last year. And I totally forgot to get it out. It hadn't sold in two years, and so I was ready to, to move it. 
I forgot it, so I just left it listed. Hey, it finally sold. This sold for $20, $19.99 plus shipping. And uh, I think the buyer paid more on shipping than, than they did on the item on this one too. But uh, it should be fairly easy to ship. It's not going to break or anything. I just need to make sure I have a box big enough and I might have to dig or may have to Franken box something. I'm not really sure. That's the four items I have going out so far. I'm going to get these items packed up. Hopefully I can get a few more things listed or actually I need to finish editing the video because we're giving away the cup and everything in that one. And I just haven't had it done yet. It's already Wednesday. It's got to go out tomorrow at the latest. So I'm going to uh, get that edited. That's what I work on. My work day is now over. I have one more item. It's an autograph. So I have my red box out and let's see if I can find it in here. thought it was near the top, but maybe not. Uh, this is a Mark Margolis. It's hand signed, JSA authenticated in the top loader. And this is going out for $25 plus shipping. Adding one makes five for the day. I'm getting ready to head to the post office and I'll see you tomorrow on Thursday. Hey everyone, welcome back. I guess you didn't go anywhere, but I did. It's Thursday, it is the 8th of June. I have five items going out. They're not very big items, but they are items that sold and that's what counts. The first one is a McDonald's item that I picked up in that big old box of McDonald's stuff that has been haunting me, I guess. I don't know, for lack of a better word, for the last week or so with listings and things. Hey, it's selling, so I'm happy. It's not a huge sale, but it's a sale. It's all profit now and it's, uh, well, it's right down there. I got this guy all wrapped up, but this is one of the uh, cactus plant McDonald's buddies. It's like the yellow smiley guy, uh, not the uh, one of the McDonald's uh, characters or anything. And this little one sold for $9 free shipping. This is just going to go in a six by four by four box. It's going to weigh four ounces. It's probably going to cost me $3.70. And so that's going to be, you know, uh, five bucks profit, maybe. I don't know when it's all said and done. Not too bad. I have a couple things coming off my media shelf. One's a game, one's a CD. Let me dig them out and I'll show you what they are. So the first is a CD. It's a karaoke CD, 60s hits. It's still sealed. It's got a little crack there, but that's not too bad. Picked this up at the estate sale on Saturday that I went to and it was just piles of boxes and tubs and things I got to dig through, which is my favorite. And I got the whole bag for $10. This CD here, I took an offer on. It sold for $5 plus shipping. And next up is this game right here. It's one I picked up in that $40 tub, I believe. Uh, and uh, it's Lego Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars. It is complete. The case isn't perfect. It's got some, some wear because it's a kid's game and you expect that with kids games. This item sold for $4.99 plus shipping. It's not a huge sale, but it's all paid for that lot is. So it's all profit. All $4 is pure profit, baby. And then I sold two bags, one lunch sack, one makeup bag. They are right here in this tub, I believe, both. Let me grab them. The first is this Victoria Secret Pink University 86 design makeup bag. It was probably a get free when you buy so much type item. Pick this up at that same estate sale as I got that CD. And this one sold for $8.99 plus shipping. The lunch sack is this tiny Nike duffel. It was so cute. I picked it up at a yard sale two Saturdays ago. We went to a community neighborhood sale. It was terrible. This is one of the few items I actually grabbed. I just wanted to put like some baby Air Force Ones or something in these, but it's actually a little uh, lunch cooler and uh, top opens. It looks just like a big duffel. It's so cool. Uh, I have no real use for it. It did have a couple spots on the top. We did wash it, but it, they didn't come out. Uh, all in the listing, this sold on offer for $15 plus shipping. And those are my five items. That's all I have so far. And hopefully we get some more things in. A couple of those items sold this morning. So there's still a chance that I could get some stuff in and need to go to the post office. Uh, five is better than zero. And I'm happy for those sales. I'm thankful for those buyers. Thank you for hanging out there with me today. I'll see you tomorrow on Friday. Hey everyone, today is Friday. It's the 9th of June. And I uh, can't believe it's the 9th already. Anyway, it's the 9th of June. I woke up with one item uh, sold. So uh, not a great night overnight sales, but I did have three more come in. So I have four to show you today. Nothing huge, but we're going to pull them. 
I sold a couple CDs. Let's head back there and get those first. The CDs I keep here on my media cabinet three, they're hiding in the back or in this stack here. Uh, let me dig them out. So first up, I have this Stereo Mud Perfect Self CD. It's still factory sealed. I picked this up at a yard sale for 50 cents. It was one a couple Saturdays. No, it was the one in Cape, the 100 mile yard sale uh, in Missouri that I went to, and it looked like someone had bought a pallet. There was several yard sales that looked like they were pallet sales. It sold on offer for $4.49 plus media mail shipping. Second up is this one right here. It's Dragon Force Inhuman Rampage. Uh, still sealed, picked it up the same sale as that other one. So I paid 50 cents or maybe it was a quarter for each. I don't remember. Uh, this one, I took an offer this morning for $4 plus shipping. And so this is going to go out to buyer left to know. It says, oh, thank you for the discount. Uh, if you're able to somehow protect the case from being broken in the mail, I'd greatly appreciate it. I am going to do that. What I will do is I will wrap it in bubble wrap and then uh, burrito book method. I'll wrap cardboard around it and then it'll go in a bubble mailer. It should make it without any issues. As long as the post office doesn't like run it over with a forklift or something. You know, I can't help that. I sold a hat. It's one I picked up for a dollar at that sale with the Minion Inflatable from last video. It's in my hat box. It's this uh, vintage Planet Hollywood Orlando hat uh, from 1995. It's actually one of the ones that caught my eye first because I thought it might be worth something uh, or be one of the higher value ones. It wasn't, but that's okay. It sold for $5.99 plus shipping. And the last item is an autograph. I got my red box out. This is from the movie The Mist, or maybe it was a series, I don't remember. And it is Chris Owens. I have a couple Chris Owens, I think, in here. So let's see if I can find it. This one right here, signed by Chris Owens from The Mist. It does have JSA authentication. Like I said, I have two of them. This is B, this is the correct one. And this sold on offer for $20 uh, plus shipping. And I am very happy that uh, these autographs are starting to go back out the door. And those are the four items I have going out. And uh, I'm going to get these packed up. Uh, as always, I do these orders. I pull these orders on my lunch hour. So I'm going to try to get these packed up and get back to work as soon as I can, I guess. Uh, it's Friday. So my work week is going to be over. We're doing yard sales tomorrow. A Catholic church is having a yard sale as part of a citywide sale. And I scored really, really well there last year. I bought a couple microphones for like five or 10 bucks that sold for two and $300. So I'm hoping there's some more electronic equipment there. It was actually one of my first videos. So if you uh, go back and look at the very first yard sale video, I think it's that one. It's the end of the day Friday, or at least the end of my work day, it's 3 p.m. And, and well, I have two other orders. I wanna get them to the post office so they don't st sit all weekend. And uh, well, I'm gonna show you what they are. They're the best sales of the day so far. So the first one's down here. It is that uh, brownish square box right there. I can reach over my death pile that's slowly encroaching across the whole floor. All right, it's turkey. It's a turkey decoy. It's a hen and it opens up like a fan. It's uh, I guess fairly unique, I don't know. I picked this up at the thrift shop at Goodwill, I think. I paid $3 for it. I thought it was gonna be Really good. I'm gonna make a profit on it. It sold for $12.99 plus shipping. So that's a pretty good price, at least for today, for me. And the other item is up here and I'm gonna have to pull it down off camera. Okay, it is an Ikea item, so I can't pronounce the name. Can you? It's for Fornuftig. Sure, it's two of them. It's a filter for their air purif purification system. Uh, this one is the... Uh, one's the HIPAA filter, one's the carbon filter. I don't know. I assume this is the carbon filter and I picked them up. These were also, I think, at Goodwill. I think I paid $3 for them as well. They must have been sleeping. They were taped together, but I was able to get the tape off. And these sold together for $29.99 plus shipping. I knew these would sell uh, based on the comps. I just knew it would take a little bit, but I, you know, 10 times my money pretty much so I was happy with that. I was happy waiting. They don't take up a lot of space. And hey, they're going out today. And as I was packing those two things, I got one more order and this is probably gonna have to be it. It's uh, three children's books. They're Key Hunters, books one, two, and three. Uh, I picked these up for 20 cents each at my local thrift and they may have been filler. I don't remember. I may have thought they may be worth something. I may have threw them in my cart. I think I could find more of the books later or that same day and I didn't. I don't know. Anyway, 
I got 60 cents into them and those three sold for $8 free shipping. It's going to cost $3 and like 70 something cents or something to send these media mail because they're going to go under a pound. So I'm going to make $3 maybe those three items plus the four earlier that makes seven going out to the post office today which is not too shabby for me and uh so i'm gonna finish it up for real this time thank you so much for hanging out there with me today good luck at yard sales if you're getting out there tomorrow and i'll see you on monday hey everyone today is monday it's the 12th of june it's the last day on this video i went yard selling on saturday even though i told myself i wasn't going to but there was a a local like citywide sale and a Catholic church had a sale. I did really good at that Catholic church. I think I told you this Friday and I got this really cool Lego set. I got one of those lime green see-through N64s. We'll see if the Lego set's complete. We will see if the N64 works, but uh, I think I'll do okay with yesterday's buys. I have nine items going out today, which is not a great weekend, but it's not terrible. And the first one I wanna show you is a Lego set. It is this one. It's a retired set. Uh, DC Comics Superheroes Green Lantern versus Sinestro. There's like a Space Batman or something in there too. The box is pretty uh, trash. It's been opened, but the bags are still sealed. Everything is in there. And I sold this as new, you know, damaged open box. And it sold for $39.99 plus shipping. I paid $20 for this one. And one I sold a couple videos ago, I think. Pay 20 for both, and uh, so this one's all profit. The next one I have going out is a weather radio, and I would never imagine that weather radios would sell quickly, but they do, and so I do pick them up if I can get them super cheap. This one I think I picked up for a dollar. It sold for 10, it's right up here. It's right here, it has the AC core, it's a Midland, and uh, it's fairly clean, in really good shape. I picked it up at a yard sale for a buck. And I listed it Friday, it sold Friday, and it sold for $9.99 plus shipping. They don't sell for huge money, but it sold in less than a day. So if I can find it for a dollar or less, I'm grabbing it. I sold a couple items out of that big McDonald's Happy Meal box uh, that I showed you last video, I think. I sold some over the weekend. I'm gonna grab them and I'll be right back. So let's go in the order in which they sold. This one is one of those cactus plant guys. It's the little, uh, like, it's the buddy. So it's not the McDonald's character. It's the like smiley face guy with four eyes. I already have him pre-bubble wrapped just so he didn't get scratched up in my tub. This one sold for $9 free shipping. So he'll ship for about $3.50, I think. He's pretty light. And so that's about uh, 4 to $5 profit maybe after fees. Not bad. Most of these McDonald's meal toys though, I listed in lots. This is a lot of four Little Mermaid toys. So there's Ariel, Flounder, Sebastian and King Triton. Uh, it's actually one through four. I think there was eight in the in the set. So it's not a full set, but uh, you know, I listed them as the lot and these sold in about a week for $9.99 plus shipping. And then this purchase came in this morning. I took an offer. Uh, these are the under three uh, years old toys from last year. And they're plush. There's, well, you can see their backsides, I guess. There's a bunny, there's a dog, there's a tiger and a giraffe. And they're fairly cute. I had a set of four and this sold an offer for $5 plus shipping. A lot of you know that a lot of Harley stuff can sell pretty good. And I picked this up at the beginning of the yard sale season. So I've had it listed for four or five weeks now, um, maybe a little bit more than that. It was one of the very early yard sales I went to. I picked it up for $3. It's a Harley item and it's right down here. All right, so it's right here on top of this tub. It is a back patch, and it's the black and white one. It's pretty cool. I don't know, I don't have no use for it, but uh, retail is $30 on it. This one sold for $26.99 plus shipping. If I can find vintage sheets for your bed uh, that are uh, inexpensive, I usually pick them up because they can sell, especially if they're crazy printed or have uh, a wild color from like the 70s or early 80s. Well, the one that sold today is white, but it sold. This is a Dan River fine muslin, all cotton, uh, one sheet. It's 72 by 108 before hemming, so it'll be slightly smaller than that. It's got one little tear there in the plastic, but otherwise it's steel sealed, probably from the 80s. I picked it up at a yard sale with this and something else I paid 
I don't know, six or seven bucks for it. The other item isn't for sale. It was for my, uh, for my church youth group. This one sold on offer for $7.49 plus shipping. And it went to a repeat buyer. So I don't know if it's a viewer or not. I've sold some sheets and I've had, I've sold some sheets to some people more than once. And I don't know if this is someone that's bought sheets before, but Annette, if you're watching, thanks so much for the purchase. And of course, thank you for anyone that makes a purchase, whether you watch or not, I do appreciate it. It's the only way that I can keep this going is if people actually buy what I try to list. So I sold two items. One's gonna be in this small's bucket and one's gonna be in that small's bucket. Let me dig them out. For the small small's bucket, it's a pin. It's one of these Dale pins, but I don't know which number it is. It is 272. All right, there it is, 272. Uh, this is from Dale Trucker and Dale versus Evil. And uh, it's limited to 700. Got this in a mystery box from Zobi and it sold for $7.99 plus shipping. So for this one, it's gonna be one of these metal plates. I rarely sell these, so let's see if I can find it. It's one of the uh, musician ones. Oh, there it is. Or is this WWE? Uh, I don't know. It's Lena Scissorhands. So I don't know who that really is. I just Google image searched it and it came up. It's a four by six metal art plate. And this one sold for $5.99 plus shipping. I picked this up in a Zobi subscription box or mystery box as well. And I'm not really too fond of these. They don't sell very quick, but this one's going out. So I'm pretty happy. And since it's Monday, I want to share with you how I'm doing with my listing goal. I'm trying to reach 2,023 listings in 2023. So for the year so far, my new listings, I have 892 unique new listings I've listed. To stay on pace, I need 5.6 a day, which means I need 935 by the end of the week, by Friday of this week. I needed 896 for my last Friday, so I'm starting to catch up, which is great. If anything else comes in before I go to the post office and I can get it out today, I, of course, will bring you back on and share with you what I'm selling. We've reached the end of the afternoon, or at least for my work, and I have two other orders. I wanna go ahead and get them out. I do have time to pack them. I have everything else uh, I got packed uh, earlier. And so uh, let me show you what they are. The first is a, well, it's a brown box, it's pre-packed. Uh, this is a set of 10 of the McDonald's Happy Meal Pokemon toys. So last year they did Pokemon toys. It came with like a little bitty plastic thing and a little pack of three cards or something. This is the complete set, all 10 boxes. Uh, the cards in each box were unique. So it, you didn't have to buy like multiple boxes to get the set. So this is the entire set. And I uh, got this in that giant $15 McDonald's Happy Meal toy box. This set sold on offer today for $11 plus shipping. And then I sold a DVD that I picked up at a yard sale this Saturday. Uh, I'm a sucker for DVDs. I knew this one would sell pretty quick because I've sold it before. It is the four Superman movies and uh, the one with Christopher Reeve in them. And it's not a huge thing. I bought a stack of DVDs. I think it was 50 cents. I think I paid 50 cents for it. And uh, this one sold for $4.99 plus shipping in about a day and a half. So for a DVD, that's super quick. Well, with those two items, that makes 11 going to the post office today. So that's a little bit better, uh, nothing huge but I'm gonna get these two items packed up or one's just needs a label. That one needs to go on a bubble mailer. It'll be quick work and I'll get them to the PO today. Thank you so much for hanging out there with me this week. I do appreciate every view and every subscriber. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing that. Everything's like down below. You can hit that little subscribe button. Uh, you can hit the bell notification to be notified when I post new content and uh, it's all free. I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers. That's my goal. Uh, by the end of the year. It'd be great if I could get there before that. And so I would appreciate it if you click that little button and let me know what you thought in the comments below. I'm going to try to have a yard sale video come out pretty soon as well, showing some stuff I picked up this last Saturday. And uh, we'll get that as soon as I can get it edited. It's a busy, uh, next two weeks are going to be very busy for me because church camp's coming up. In two weeks, we're heading to Florida and uh, it's the most stressful like few weeks of the whole year for me. So trying to get everything together, make sure the lines out, paperwork's done, all ducks are in a row. It's a mess. And so I'll be working on that. Also, that means I'll be gone for a week with no sales. So we'll figure what we're going to do on that. I have no idea. Probably not much because I'll be busy. But anyway, thanks again. I hope you have a great day. And God bless.